hate starting these out, so I'm just gonna get straight to the point. Basically, I painted an oil portrait and I filmed it and I edited it and now I'm posting it on YouTube and that's what this video is. Yeah. I found a picture of a girl on Pinterest that I thought was really pretty, so I decided to paint her. And this is what happened. I never end up having my painting look like how the reference picture looked, but I think that she, instead of looking like my reference picture, looks a lot like Orion Carlotto for some reason. Don't know. Also, I took the time lapse on my camera and on my phone, so if it looks different throughout, that's why. And I also don't have a good fancy setup, so like it's pretty weird angles. And like, you can't fully see what I'm doing the whole time, but I tried guys. And I don't know, I just really wanted to make a painting video and I've tried like a million times. So I'm hoping this one works out finally. I hope you enjoyed my painting and watching me make it and yeah. So like all my other paintings, I begin with priming my canvas with a white acrylic base. Recently, I've been gravitating towards 8x10s with the last couple paintings that I've been doing. While I let my base dry, I start mixing my color palette, and I always use the same set of colors that will show up on the screen. After my palette is mixed and my base layer is dry, I tape up the sides of my canvas so that I have a nice blur when everything is done. And then I sketch out my reference photo. And once I'm done with all of that, I usually just put on that 70 show and start painting.
probably noticed some parts of the painting were cut out like the lips and eyebrows and most of the hair. I actually had to do those areas in my lap because they require a lot of detail and just a more comfortable position to paint in. But anyways, now that the background is almost done, I am just going into the final details like jewelry, some extra highlights and deeper shadows. finished the final touches i start finishing off the background with this very wonky gold ring i clean it up and make it look neat but i really did not have the energy to make a perfect circle once everything is finished up i finally get to do my favorite part which is taking off the tape and then just cleaning up those edges a bit So that is it for this video and this painting. I'm gonna have to hang this and those two on my wall pretty soon. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me do this. And like, comment, subscribe. Bye.